Challenging behavior also known as behaviors which challenge, is defined as culturally abnormal behaviors of such intensity, frequency or duration that the physical safety of the person or others is placed in serious jeopardy, or behavior which is likely to seriously limit or deny access to the use of ordinary community facilities. Ordinarily we would expect the person to have shown the pattern of behavior that presents such a challenge to services for a considerable period of time. Severely challenging behavior is not a transient phenomenon. Challenging behavior is most often, though not exclusively exhibited by individuals with learning developmental disabilities, individuals with dementia or other mental health needs, such as strokes or acquired brain injuries, individuals with psychosis and by children, although such behaviors can be displayed by any person. Types. Common types of challenging behavior include self-injurious behavior such as hitting, headbutting, biting, scratching, aggressive behavior such as hitting others, headbutting, shouting, swearing, screaming, scratching others, spitting, biting, punching, kicking, inappropriate sexualized behavior such as public masturbation or groping, behavior directed at property such as throwing objects and stealing and stereotype behaviors such as repetitive rocking or echolalia. Topic: Misuse. The term challenging behavior has become subject to widespread misuse, most often as a euphemism for violent or aggressive behavior. In educational settings it is often used to refer to acts of disobedience, defiance, or other non-compliance with authority. This is not what the term was originally intended to refer to. Increasingly professional groups are adopting alternative terms for example, "...behavior of concern". Causes <laughs> 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 Challenging behavior may be caused by many kinds of factors, including biological pain, medication, the need for sensory stimulation, social boredom, seeking social interaction, the need for an element of control, lack of knowledge of community norms, insensitivity of staff and services to the person's wishes and needs environmental physical aspects such as noise and lighting, or gaining access to preferred objects or activities psychological feeling excluded, lonely, devalued, labeled, disempowered, living up to people's negative expectations challenging behavior may also simply be a means of communication. A lot of the time, challenging behavior is learned and brings rewards and it is very often possible to teach people new behaviors to achieve the same aims. Behavior analysts have focused on a developmental model of challenging behavior. Experience and research suggests that what professionals call challenging behavior is often a reaction to the challenging environments that services or others create around people with developmental disabilities, and a method of communicating dissatisfaction with the failure of services or others to listen for what kind of life makes most sense to the person, especially where services or others create lifestyles and relationships that are centered on what suits them or the service and its staff rather than what suits the person. Challenging behavior can often be viewed as a behavioral equivalent of a mental health problem. However, research evidence indicates that challenging behaviors and mental health problems are relatively independent conditions. A common principle in behavior management is looking for the message an individual is communicating through their challenging behavior. All behavior has meaning. This is a core in the functional analysis process. Children communicate through their behavior, especially those who have not acquired language and vocabulary skills to tell the adult what the problem is. In adults with developmental disabilities certain types of challenging behavior can predict contact with police and hospital admission. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Behavior response cycle. Challenging behaviors may be viewed as occurring in a cycle: trigger, escalation, crisis. Recovery analysis of this cycle provides a foundation for using a variety of strategies to minimize the triggers of challenging behavior, teach more appropriate behaviors in response to these triggers, or provide consequences to the challenging behavior that will encourage a more appropriate response. Behavioral strategies such as applied behavior analysis, operant conditioning and positive behavior support use similar approaches to analyzing and responding to challenging behaviors. Recently, eidetic model of growth EMG has been used with promising results. Topic: See also Conduct disorder Operant conditioning Oppositional defiant disorder Positive behavior support Rate in mental health Notes External links Center for Evidence-Based Practice – Young children with challenging behavior raise the awareness and implementation of positive, evidence-based practices in managing challenging behaviors Behavior Support Services – Children and Young Adults with Learning Disabilities Challenging behavior specifically related to individuals with severe learning disabilities The Challenging Behavior Foundation supporting carers and professionals Support and training for group and individuals dealing with behavioral issues.